In this video, we're going to talk about the SPI Mem Manager, Mem for memory indeed. So there is like a new release, a developer release that includes this application and it will allow you to read and write on SPI memory chip. Okay, so what's really uh, in interest me when I first like look at some trailers for like uh, the development and what was going on on the flipper zero was this video so I kind of fast forward it um, and it's all already like kind of fast where like the flipper zero team were like using one of the prototype of the flipper zero to flash a BIOS with like this pawn um, image during the boot of their uh, ThinkPad. So here I wanted to know a bit more like if it's like let's say uh, fully working and already like usable. So I have like a ThinkPad where I want to uh, flash into core boot. So here I just want to um, let's say um, do a proof of concept to see if I'm able like to gather the firmware from the BIOS and then see what I'm able like to do with it because I don't want to kind of uh, break the laptop so far so that's why like I'm kind of uh, precocious let's say in one way but uh, here we will like use uh, this pin um, for like um, the little uh, chip here okay so let me connect it already so my pin is not the best but i will still like try to do uh to work with this and here i'm going to use the q flipper application to kind of uh, control the flipper because of all the wires okay So that's the official like uh, developer firmware, the release 0 0.77. And you will see here like there is a SPI memory manager, okay? So you could do different sort of like thing, like either like read what's on like the chip and save it to a file. And here like you could like manage all like your saved file you could like also decide to erase the chip and yeah here like then save this like to load the file and write it to the SPI chip here's a wiring like um, it's interesting because it's kind of uh, show you uh, a generic like a chip but you need to watch out which um, let's say chip you are using and based on its documentation uh, apply the proper wiring otherwise like you might um, um, damage it okay and here of course about like to uh, choose like the, the developer big thanks to junk but yeah for sure thanks for developing this putting so much work so let's hit read here like to actually dump the bias from the um, thinkpad into the flipper zero okay so here like i have like to know which uh ve chip vendor it is and which model so that's something you will anyway need to do do some research on it okay so here i have like my my information based on like the vendor and like the model. So now I will hit read. I could say, uh, define a name and saving. So now like it's reading and dumping my wall chip. So I think we could like end up the video right now because there is no much point of like watching um, the progress status. There is also like a check that is done later on and I will do further testing like to, to see what actually is the current um, status from the bias that I have dumped and if it's like um, all good 
Then I will like use the flip zero to kind of uh, write um, the core boot bias into this um, this chip. So I will have like my X twenty two zero uh, flashed. Okay. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.